Hello, my name is Dr. Intro to Songwriting. Uh, my name is Elliot, and let's get right to today's lesson. As you can see, it's pretty exciting. We're going to take one of our object rights and turn it into a verse of lyrics. So let's get uh, right to work here. So right before we do that, though, we're going to do uh, a little bit more um, of a lesson on rhyming. So remember uh, last time we talked about uh, A, B, A, B, in which the, third, uh, the first and the third uh, lines will rhyme and the second and the fourth lines will rhyme. And then A, A, B, B is when the first two lines rhyme and then the third and the fourth lines rhyme. Let's look at one more example. This is A, B, C, C, where the first and the second lines don't rhyme, but the third and the fourth ones do. And we'll look at an example. This is a song, um, this is an amazing song in case you haven't heard it. It's by uh, a group called the Band Perry. It's called If I Die Young. So here's the lyric. If I die young, bury me in satin, lay me down on a bed of roses, sink me in the river at dawn, send me away with the words of a love song. So if we think of the rhyme scheme, we have the word satin, <clears throat> and then we have roses, dawn, and song. So this is an example where the first Two lines don't rhyme at all, and then the second and the third, excuse me, the third and the fourth lines rhyme. So this is A, B, C, C. Um, so let's look at another example, and this is one where we completely break the rules. Uh, this is a song by Katy Perry. This is called Firework. So, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin like a house of cards one blow from caving in. Now, so we have bag, again, thin, and in. Any idea what the rhyme scheme is here? Obviously some of these rhyme. So this is actually A, B, B, B. The first line bag doesn't rhyme with anything. And, and again, this is a, a song Actually, both of these have been downloaded probably over three, four million times by people. These are very well-known songs. And it's amazing to me that they really thought outside of the box in terms of rhymes. And it, when you hear the song, it really fits. Because remember, a song is about uh, lyrics, melody, and harmony, and obviously rhyming. And it's how those work together. In these examples, if you go back and listen to the song examples, you'll see that the melodies are very memorable and stay the same. And you don't necessarily feel that the rhyme scheme is that different, line to line. So.